Hey babes, welcome to my channel if you're new here and if you're returning then hey girl, how you doing? The girls are wearing leave out, okay? The girls are wearing leave out and the tapings and all of that stuff. I love the vibe, don't get me wrong. But it's hot and I am not trying to take care of my actual hair. So I've been wearing V parts all week. This is actually a V part that I've already filmed with. If you haven't yet seen that video, then I'll put it up here for you guys to check out after you finish this video. But um, I'm kind of over the straight hair. So I was thinking I'll go ahead and install a curly unit. Although when I normally do curly V parts, I don't leave any leave out. And I wanna try and see if I like it better the other way because I'm going for more of a sleek look and the no leave out look is a lot easier if you're going for like bigger hair. So today I wanna do more like a wet curly look, but we'll see what it, what it gives. I've never done a curly unit with leave out, so I'm actually excited to try it. So let's go ahead and get into it. Today's video is sponsored by I See Hair. They sent me over this really pretty 26 inch kinky curly Mongolian wig. It's a V part and it's like one of the lacy V parts. There are four clips around the part, one in like the crown, two on the sides, and one in the back, as well as adjustable straps. So it's a lot of lace around the part, which is a little different, but I'm excited to see what it looks like because it also has lace along like the little edge piece. So it is a V part for sure, but it's a little bit unique. So I'm excited to try it. And these curls will blend really, really well with my hair, I'm hoping. So let's get into it. But before we do, let me show you some of the little cute little extras that the wig came with. They sent me a cute little scrunchie, a edge brush, these press-ons that I'm kind of obsessed with. Y'all know I love me a good press-on and my nails are in whole shambles. So these are gonna come in handy. And then they sent a cute little lash book with like, I'm, it's giving I'm impressed, okay? I really love the packaging. Everything is like really cute and well thought out. It also came with an elastic band. I don't really need this for today's video, but it may come in handy. A wig cap and a cute little bag to put your wig in. I love these because it helps me keep track of like all my hair. I see hair is given that girl so far. I respect it. I respect the attention to detail. I actually like and need everything that they sent me. So, so far so good. Let's get into the wig, honey. Okay, so before we can get into the new wig, I have to take this one off. It's a little snug. So this is my leave out on top. And then I have a little bit of leave out along the sides. I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna leave it out yet, but we'll see. I'm gonna turn around so I can show you guys my braiding pattern. I put like three braids on either side and one going down the back in the middle. And I kind of finessed it and braided each braid into another braid so that I don't have a whole bunch of stuff hanging down. And then the braid that I did have, I just tucked in there somewhere. Now, as far as the unit goes, I need to, it came with a little bit of additional lace on the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim this off. And I'm also gonna cut this comb out. Um, I typically don't like to keep anything right in that area. It's really hard to attach it for me. I'm gonna use my scissors to just kind of cut this little comb right up out of here. So as you can see, once I remove this one in the middle, we'll still have the combs on the side and the comb in the back and the clips around the edges. All right, so now we have our wig ready to install. The adjustable straps came put on already and I actually don't want it to be too tight, so I'm gonna leave them where they are. So let's just pop her on. Okay, so this is the wig so far and 
I already know I'm gonna love it. I already know. Before we go in and define it, I wanna add some layers. So I'm just parting out with my finger from the crown to like right at my ear. And we're gonna put some layers in the front. I don't wanna start the layers too short, so I'm actually gonna start them about here and I'm just dragging the scissors down. Sorry if I keep looking to the side, that's where my mirror is. And I really didn't cut much off, I just added like a few cute little layers. Nothing too spicy, okay? It kind of helps if you finger comb through the hair as you um, cut it, because you can kind of make sure that everything is falling where it's supposed to. But I'm happy with that. Just a little bit of layers in the front. And I'm not gonna worry about trimming the ends because I actually don't want super blunt ends on this curly hair. So it's time to define the curl. So I'm gonna go in with the Shine and Jam Foam Wrap Mousse just to define the curls a little bit. And I'm gonna do it in sections since it's so much hair. So first I need to part out the back and we'll just work our way up. Okay, so I applied the foam straight to my hair as well. I don't know how I lost the first clip. <clears throat> I went back and checked and I couldn't find the first clip, but I applied a little bit more so you guys can see what I did. It was super easy. And then I just brushed my hair into the extensions as best that I could. So hopefully my hair and the extensions kind of clump together to make like a nice little blend. So this is the blend so far. It actually looks really, really good to me. I think the natural texture of my hair really makes the hair look like believable. I have a few pieces of my hair that will not curl up though, just because I've been wearing it straight. So hopefully it kind of curls up, but whatever doesn't, I just tuck it in. And the length is perfect. It's long enough to wear like, it looks long when it's curly. You can get like long curly hair and sometimes it'll like just shrivel up. So I'm really happy with this length. I can't wait to see what it looks like once it dries. I'm gonna be right back. Okay, so my hair is about 95% dry and I'm hungry, girl. So I'm about to go and get some food. This is the finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I really like how the hair came out and I'm actually like really impressed with how it's blending. I don't know where my hair is and where it's not. I'm into it. I'm obsessed. I'm ready to go outside and stop a little traffic, okay? So I hope that you guys really enjoyed today's video. Thank you again to IC Hair for working with me. I look forward to working with you again. And um, I need y'all to send me one more of those lash books because baby, do y'all sell those? Like, 
I need to go back to that website and see what it's given. I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye babes.